Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs of 12th of May. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app and there you can get the current affairs in quiz format as well as in easy digest format. And this is how you can attempt the quiz in GK Today Academy app. The link is given in the description. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. This is the name of Telegram channel GK Today YouTube. Now, let's start. IGIB of CSIR that means Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology has partnered with which Indian company to commercialize the Feluda test kit. So for this IGIB and Tata Sons partnered for the commercialization of Feluda test kit. Now what exactly is Feluda? It is affordable and easy to use test kit for COVID-19. What is CSIR? It is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. And recently, CSIR, CRRI, that is Central Road Research Institute, developed Kisan Sabha app. So, now coming back to the question. So, IGIB partnered with Tata Sons for the commercialization. It is important to note that this Feluda test kit uses CRISPR-based technology. What is CRISPR? It is clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats. You need not to remember the full form, but you should have a fair idea about. So this is a paper strip based test kit. Who has been appointed as director on the central board of RBI? So recently, Mr. Tarun Bajaj has been appointed as the director on the central board of RBI. Recently, he was appointed as the new Economic Affairs Secretary. Present RBI Governor is Shakti Das. Recently, he was nominated as the Banker of Year for Asia Pacific region. RBI was in news as recently it launched Money app to help visually challenged people to identify currency notes. RBI was also in news because of Operation Twist. Among the road and infrastructure cess, special additional excise duty that were recently hiked by the central government, which one is passed to the state through devolution. So recently, central government hiked these two and one will be passed to the states and it is going to be the special additional excise duty. So central government increased the duties on petrol and diesel. However, in the retail price, there will not be any change as this hike, that means this increment will be absorbed by OMC that is oil marketing companies. See, in the global market, the prices of oil are very low. But in our country, the prices are same. That means they are high. So what is being done is that the government has increased the duties on petrol and diesel. And therefore, as a regular consumer in India, you won't find much difference even though oil prices in global market are so low. Usually, government use this money as a buffer in case the prices increase so high then the government will provide subsidy to the consumers. It is important to note that the road and infrastructure cess will go to the revenue of central government and the special additional excise duty will be passed to the states through devolution at 42%. Amar Sonar Bangla, the national anthem of Bangladesh was written by which Indian poet whose birth anniversary was celebrated recently on 5th of May. So, it was written by Ravindranath Tagore and recently his 159th birth anniversary was celebrated. This Amar Sonar Bangla is the national anthem of Bangladesh and Gurudev Ravindranath Tagore wrote this song during the first partition of Bengal announced by Lord Curzon in 1905 and later it became the national anthem of Bangladesh. Now, Bangladesh was also in news as recently Indian High Commissioner in Bangladesh organized a business meeting of leaders in India and Bangladesh and Riva Ganguly Das is the India's High Commissioner in Bangladesh. Capital of Bangladesh is Dhaka, currency is Taka and Prime Minister is Sheikh Hasina. In addition to Ravindranath Tagore recently, the 154th birth anniversary of Gopal Krishna Gokhale was celebrated. He was well-known freedom fighter and it was celebrated on 9th of May. Now there is a book dedicated to Gopal Krishna Gokhale and the name of this book is Dharmatma Gokhale. Now answer in comment box who is the author of this book. Apart from Gopal Krishna Gokhale, on 9th of May, the birth anniversary of Maharana Pratap was also celebrated. Apart from Gopal Krishna Gokhale, on 9th of May, the birth anniversary of Maharana Pratap Singh was also celebrated. 
he was the 13th king of mewad kingdom it is in rajasthan and recently his 480th birth anniversary was celebrated as per the recent report of iamai which areas of country had the highest number of internet users so as per the recent report rural areas had more internet users as compared to urban areas and this was for the first time now what is iamai it is internet and mobile association of india and it is a non for profit organization registered under societies act it is headquartered in mumbai and subo ray is the president of ia MAI now answer in comment box who is the president of indian hockey federation nada that is a national organization under ministry of sports is set to conduct its disciplinary hearing online now the question is what does d stand for in nada so it is national anti doping agency and therefore d stands for doping and recently it was in news as it announced that it is going to conduct its disciplinary hearing online because of this covid-19 pandemic now recently nada was also in news as it appointed sunil sethi as a brand ambassador so at india level that means at national level we have nada at global level we have wada that is world anti doping agency recently it banned russia for 4 years prime minister of russia is Mikhail Mishustin and recently he was appointed as the prime minister now coming back to wada so the headquarter of wada is in canada and recently canada was in news as it announced its withdrawal from tokyo olympic games tokyo is in japan now answer in comment box is japan a permanent member of malabar exercise that means is it a permanent participant of this exercise Based on the recommendation of which committee the defense ministry recently approved the abolition of 9304 post in military engineering service so this decision was taken on the basis of recommendation of lieutenant general sekretkar committee as per the recommendation of this committee these post in mes that is military engineering services were abolished why this was suggested it was suggested to improve the combat capability of our defense forces and to reduce our defense expenditure now answer in comment box recently which security force launched an app named e karyalaya which state government has raised the retirement age of government employees from 58 to 59 so this decision was taken by tamil nadu government and now the retirement age has been increased including retirement age of teachers and psu workers so previous one was 58 now it is 59 now tamil nadu was also in news as recently two handicraft products from tamil nadu will get gi tag what is gi it is geographical indication and these two products are tanjavur native work and second one is arambavur wood carvings so these two products are from tamil nadu which will get gi tag apart from that one product from telangana will get gi tag and it is telia romal it is from telangana in addition to that recently kashmir saffron got gi tag now few other products were given gi tag recently answer in comment box what are those products project card is associated to which of the following product so it is related to the covid 19 testing kit and recently dbt that is department of biotechnology and niti ayog launched this card project what is card it stands for consortium for affordable and rapid diagnostic project so this project was launched to scale up india's capacity to make coronavirus testing kits now niti ayog was also in news as recently it launched surakshit dada dadi and nana nani abhiyan to keep elderly members of family safe niti ayog is an executive body prime minister is the ex officio chairperson of niti ayog robert baptiste is associated to which field so he is associated to cyber security research he is a french cyber security researcher and ethical hacker and he writes on twitter with his pseudo name elliot elderson now why he was in news he was in news because he recently claimed that there are various security issues in arogya setu app and the user data is not safe and it can be manipulated however the team of arogya setu assured that there is no such issue with the app so this arogya setu app was recently launched to ensure the proper 
contact tracing. Recently, SBI, that is State Bank of India, launched Arogya Sanjeevni Health Insurance Policy. Now, recently, this term Sanjeevni was in use as in Madhya Pradesh, a special vehicle was recently prepared so that health workers can investigate any suspected patient of COVID-19 without coming in contact with the patient. And the name of this vehicle is Sanjeevni. So, this vehicle is related to Madhya Pradesh and this vehicle is related to the contactless investigation of COVID-19 patients. Now, coming back to this Arogya. So, recently, Arogya Setu Mitra was in use. Answer in comment box, what is the objective of this Arogya Setu Mitra? What is the name of application launched by Ayush Ministry as a part of the launch of clinical research on Ayurveda interventions? So, recently, Union Health Minister along with Union Ayush Minister launched the clinical research studies on Ayurveda interventions in tackling COVID-19. And they also launched Ayush Sanjeevani app. This app has been developed by Ayush Ministry and the objective of this app is to generate data on the acceptance and usage of Ayush recommendations among the public and to record the impact of these recommendations in preventing the COVID-19. Now, in the context of Sanjeevani, there is a Operation Sanjeevani. It was an operation of Indian Air Force. Answer in comment books that this operation is associated to which country? So, these were the important questions of today's quiz. Now, we are going to cover the important news. So, first news is related to Mahindra and Mahindra. Now, due to lockdown, the sale of vehicles is dead. Therefore, to ensure the online purchase of vehicles, the Mahindra and Mahindra recently launched this own online platform. Through this platform, you can directly purchase a vehicle online. Next news is related to ICMR. That is Indian Council of Medical Research. Recently, it partnered with Bharat Biotech to develop COVID-19 vaccine. Next news is related to Mission Sagar. So, to assist the island nations in the eastern Indian Ocean region, this operation was started by India. Name of operation is Mission Sagar. And as per this mission, INS Kesari will provide the medical assistance, essential food items and other necessary support to the five island countries in Indian Ocean. And these five countries are Maldives, Mauritius, Seychelles, Madagascar and Comoros. Now, in the context of Indian Ocean, there is Indian Ocean Dialogue. Answer in comment box, this is a flagship initiative of which organization? Next news is related to Hari Shankar Vasudevan. So, recently he passed away and he was well-known historian. Apart from that, recently India celebrated National Technology Day on 11th of May. Why this day is special? Because on this day, India successfully tested the nuclear missile. So, Technology Day is on 11th of May, while Science Day is on 28th of February. 11th of May is Technology Day, while 12th of May is International Nurse Day. And Mother's Day is celebrated on the second Sunday of May. And this time, that means in this year, it was on 10th of May. Next news is related to Karnataka as Pranavayu program was launched by Bengaluru City Corporation to create awareness about the respiratory health of people in Bengaluru. Next is related to Suraksha stores. So, recently these stores were announced and the main objective of this initiative is to educate the owners of these Kiriana stores that how they can prevent the transmission of this coronavirus and for this purpose, the Arogya Setu application will also be used. So, the Department of Consumer Affairs under Ministry of Consumer Affairs and Food and Public Distribution launched this initiative of Suraksha Stores. Next news is related to COVID Kavach as it is India's first indigenous ELISA test kit for COVID-19 and this has been developed by NIV Pune. What is NIV? It is National Institute of Virology. Next is related to RGI. RGI stands for Registrar General of India and recently RGI released the statistics called SRS. SRS stands for Sample Registration System. So as per this, the national birth rate, death rate and infant mortality rate data was released recently. So as per that, national birth rate is at 20, death rate is at 6.2 and infant mortality rate is 32. Next is related to Dhurv. So these are UV based sanitizers 
developed by DRDO to sanitize smartphones in a contactless manner. DRDO is under Defense Ministry and it is Defense Research and Development Organization. Now recently, Stringency Index was in news and this index was released by Oxford University to show the level of strictness and measures of countries during the ongoing pandemic. Next news is related to Saudi Arabia as recently it decided to increase the VAT that is value added tax from 5% to 15% from the 1st of July and it also took a decision to suspend the cost of living allowance. Now a question could be asked like which of the following countries recently suspended the cost of living allowance. Next news is related to MNRE that is Ministry of New and Renewable Energy as recently Indu Shekhar Chaturvedi assumed charge as the new secretary of Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. And last news is related to the clash between Indian and Chinese troops in Sikkim and in Ladakh. So in Sikkim the troops clashed at Nakula Pass and in Ladakh the troops clashed at Pangong So Lake. So this Nathula Pass is in Sikkim while this Pangong So Lake is in Ladakh in the Union Territory of Ladakh. So these were the most important news. Now homework for you. First is what is the difference between LAC and LOC that is line of control and line of actual control. Second homework is what is strict liability and what is absolute liability. Recently it was in news because of a NGT verdict in the context of recent gas tragedy. So these were the most important events. Thank you and that's all for the day.